so does Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to London, England. We're at the Royal London Theatre for our main event of the evening. 12 rounds of lightweight action. A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. Everybody expecting this to be a great night of action. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Just the opening round of 12 scheduled for tonight's bout. Nice block by Sugar. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Getting it done with that straight right hand. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Sugar's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Halfway through round number one. Not much action as he just ties up. A well-placed left hand up top. And he clinches yet again. <laughs> Threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. Able to cover up that gut. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. This round comes to an end. A round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. I'll tell you, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget. 75% of this game is psychological. Sure, Don't let him get discouraged him. because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. Here we go. Round two is underway. Sugar's going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good solid counter. He missed that uppercut. Sugar's nailed by a hook.
Unable to land clean by Sugar. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Teddy, I've heard you say it a million times early on in a fight. If there's any one piece of good advice you can give, it's start depositing it into that bank. Go to the body. Yeah, because the interest comes later, and you're going to see the payoff in the late round. Able to dismiss that body shot. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Unload! Sugar's proving to be elusive. Is he defensively sound? You're still not moving enough. Move, move. You see him holding on. That was not well targeted by Sugar. Just 10 seconds to go in this Get round. Move your head. <laughs> this round comes to an end. And Teddy, it's easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent is pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit making himself a difficult target, but his punch is a little wide. He needs breath. to shorten him up. Take a deep breath. This is your night. Keep closing the gap. When you get close to him, fast combinations to the body. He doesn't like those shots to the body. Listen to me. You're not giving me a... And round number three is underway. The big hook comes in right underneath the elbow. Oh. There you go. Able to get away from that headshot nice with the block. Nice He's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Coming to the halfway point of this third round.
just ate a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. Get off the rope. Punch your way out of the rope. A headshot blocked. Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. Let it go! Last 10 seconds of round number three. Gets rid of that body shot. And that's the end of round three. Breathe now. Deep breath. Deep breath. Holy shit, you are in control of this fight, man. Okay, listen. You can throw him off with head movements. That's it. Throw him off with head movements. Jab your way, okay? Whatever you do, throw that jab. Sugar's pitching a shutout right now on Teddy's scorecard. First three rounds all going on his side of the ledger. He missed with that headshot. Fundamentals, good counter punch. One, two, one, two. Double up, not precise punches. at all by Sugar. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. I don't want to criticize him too much, Teddy, because by going defensive here after being stunned, hey, this might be the right strategy to employ. As long as he doesn't stay with it too long. It's the right strategy to employ right now at this moment. But if you're gonna win the fight, you have to find a way quickly down the road to get back to where you can score points and survive and be responsible defensively. He's tight, he's tight. That was a miss by Sugar. I think the lesson to be learned here is it's a marathon, not a sprint. He has treated this fight like it's a sprint early on here. Yeah, and the tortoise is starting to pass him right by, waving at him, saying, ha. Ah. Comes with the right. Nice. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Hey, 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 let's go. This round comes to an end. A round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. I'll tell you, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. 
don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. Round number five has arrived. <laughs> Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some <laughs> counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Be Off the crush. target by Sugar. Let it go! Oh, you're doing great! And he just holds on there. Good flush shot upstairs. Right to the head with that right. Back to the body. Off keep target moving, with that hook. Moving. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Halfway into round number five here. And he engages in the clinch. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Sugar's got that catch-me-if-you-can kind of attitude. He's almost daring his opponent at this point to try to land a headshot. But his movement's been so good, his defense is just supreme. Yeah, it is. He's moving from the waist. He's slipping the straight shots. He's weaving the hooks. He's doing a real magical a job in there. Big, big shot comes crashing home. He goes up top and gets to him, hammering the head. <laughs> Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. He's going around now, Teddy, like his legs are made out of wet noodles. Yeah, and my mother was boiling the water because she used to make sure that that water boiled and boiled was never al dente. These legs are not al dente. Coming to the end of round number five, last nice. 10 seconds. All right, all right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. Listen, he's done. He is done. I want you to double up that jab, and then I want you to finish. Keep your hands up, all right? You have to keep your hands up. You're doing fine. I wonder if those 60 seconds were enough, Teddy. He was knocked down in that last round. Now he's right back out there. That 60 seconds has been enough for fighters in his position before. This sport's been around way over 100 years. It's up to him to do the things he needs to do early on in this round. He's all over the place. I mean, he's missing punches. Yeah, he's throwing punches, but he's missing just about everything he throws. Well, we look up top. You know, we look at the punches going away. They're going left, they're going right, they're going all over the place. But look downstairs. His feet are not set. He's falling all over the place. And guess what? The punches follow where his feet are. Keep doing what you're doing. 
Well, he missed that right. You got this one. Finish with a hook. Nowhere close that punch by Sugar. Nice. Stay away from those. Come on. Keep it going. Halfway through round six. Get in there. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. His opponent has to be getting frustrated here. He had his man down, but now he keeps getting tied up. Look, I'm frustrated watching it. I don't care about his opponent. I don't have any pity for him right now because he's allowing himself to get frustrated and allowing himself to get tired. All he has to do is rotate those shoulders back a little bit, push off a little bit, create room. And just grabbing on to his opponent. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Last 10 seconds. What a difference from corner to corner as he sits on his stool. He, he knows that he is in complete control of this fight, peppering his opponent with power shots. Well, it's been like that all night long. Anything he throws finds a target. Okay, nice work, nice work. I don't want to see one punch now, all right? You throw the uppercut, but I need to see another punch after. He steps inside, uppercut and hook. Uppercut and finish with a hook. Got it? So we've reached the halfway point of this main event. Yeah. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. He just missed that shot up top. Looking good. Keep moving. He's tight. He's Sugar's tight. making this like artwork here. I mean, his defense is just a masterpiece. Well, that's the way it's supposed to be, actually. You know, the, the sweet science. It's not supposed to be about going in there and eating punches. It's supposed to be about going in there avoiding punches. You know, finding a way to hit your opponent without him hitting you. He understands that. At the halfway point of round seven. Head and body, head and body. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Unable to score with the uppercut that time.
Focus, relax. The end of round seven. Behind the jab. Okay? Work that jab, then right hook to the body, then left hook to the head. All right? Body, head. It's over. He's tight. He's got. We need to cover up more, okay? You're leaving yourself open too much. Cover up. No need to get excited. We can win. Teddy's scorecard shows a commanding lead. Sugar's been having his way all night long. Teddy, what does he need to do to secure this win now? I mean, he's been in complete control. Just maintain? Yeah, don't slip on a banana peel. <laughs> See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Really frustrating his opponent now. Sugar's so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried. Oh, that's got to hurt. And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now, he needs them right now. Sugar's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Halfway through this round here. You got this one. And he ties up on the inside. Work the ball. Sugar's employing one of the three facets of good fundamental defense. And right now, he's using the legs. Yeah, he is. And that is one of the facets. The other is to block. The other is to move your head. And right now, he's controlling range. What his opponent has to do now is look to get it to a place where maybe he can time him. Time him as he steps out. of the eighth round. Seemingly in control, and now maybe out of control after getting hit there. But what you just said, Joe, that is really what's the enemy of his right now, is nothing was coming at him. He was winning too easily. And for a minute, he let up, and bang. All right, breathe, deep breath. Get some water. We got you it. good? You all right? We... Right. 
As we start a new round, Teddy, this seems basically hopeless for him. He's been knocked down numerous times tonight. Well, you never know. I mean, you go back to the 1980 Olympics, and of course, you have that great call, do you believe in miracles? But only thing, nobody was punching that hockey team in the face. Good, good. Sugars, dazed after that punch. So far tonight, he was being completely outworked, but now we see him being more the aggressor. Ball was starting to get a little late. He understood he needed to change things a little. Sugar showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. Nice work. Took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. Keep doing what you're doing. Open. Halfway through the ninth round. Round now, back and forth after he did the hurting, he's the one hurt. Joe, simply put, this is about wit, grit, and spit. This is about fighting. Nice. He just does not appear to have the stamina it takes to be in this fight. I don't know if he has the will or the stamina. Good job, buddy. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. I don't like this at all, Teddy. I mean, it's one thing to stand toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It's another thing to never even move. You got to show some movement. Maybe he's breaking down. Maybe he's already spit the bit. You know, if he falls down, everybody in the world is going to know that he let himself fall down. He gave up. But there's different ways, different phases of giving in. And this might be one of those phases. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. <laughs> this round is in the books, and it looks like the gas tank on this fighter may be heading towards empty here. What is this, a case of guys just not putting in the road work and the conditioning prior to a fight? No, you got to figure he came in. His weight was good. Scales don't lie. We looked at the weight. He came in pretty good condition. I think what it is is now he's starting to get broken down a little bit, physically and mentally. The other guy is starting to impose himself on him. All right, downstairs over again. So a new round is underway here, but will it be just where we left off? Remember, the bell rang in that last round to keep this fight going. He was taking a beating. Yeah, well, I hope that he watched some Houdini movies. I really do, because he's going to have to do a Houdini to get out of this. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Teddy, when you've been in the corner in your career and you have a charge who is not making a lot of contact, what do you tell him? The first thing I tell him, Joe, is shorten up your punches a little bit. The other thing I tell him is he's making you miss, so you know what? Faint him a little bit. Get a false move out of him. Get a premature move. And when he moves, then time him. Now you're going to catch him. <laughs> Half 
halfway through round 10. Seconds remaining in this round. And this round comes to an end. Head in the body. Upstairs, upstairs, downstairs. Over and over again. Upstairs, downstairs. There you go. That's a mess. It. That's it. I need another round like that. Just like that, all right? Okay. Doing good. Just keep it up. Championship rounds are here. He's up big. Sugar's only really concerned with making sure he doesn't get hit by a lucky punch. Well, exactly, Joe. It's the end of the night. The bartender just called last call. All he has to do is find his keys and go home. Oh, that's a big, what a big shot. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitcher, great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Good block there by Sugar. Sugar's swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. He is not in good shape. There it is! Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. This fight is over. Sugar's in prime form. Power surge here. Knockout winner. That's what you want to see. A guy who can close the show and finish with style. He ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible and they got it. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us, everyone.